So I'm back on the road again. So we're going to be dropping two eggs. Egg one will fall on this pillow right over here, and egg two will fall on this very hard concrete right over here. Now, as shown yesterday, we know that egg two will probably crack and die because, you know, it's hitting the very hard concrete. But I want to know the culprit who killed the egg. We have five suspects currently. They are number one, mass, number two, velocity, number three, momentum, number four, impulse, and finally, number five, force. So we're going to be looking at which one killed the egg. Now let the egg drop commence. Three, two, one, ready to die egg two? Yep, egg one came out in one piece and egg two just stopped. Then egg one survived, but you know, egg two died. Well, I think that comes down to impulse. Well, at least I suspect. Why? Well, because when you exert impulse over very little time, like what happened with the concrete, the egg goes to rest as soon as it hits the concrete, then the force is going to be massive because force is going to be J over T, impulse over time. So force has an inverse relationship. So as time goes down, force goes way up, meaning the egg will crack. But since the pillow gave egg two a lot of time to go to rest, it cracked less, and so it didn't full on die. The impulse lasted longer and well, exerted a shorter for force per unit per time. I suspect there was impulse, but I'm not 100% sure. So, tomorrow I'll take it to the New York Police Department.